In our uh, previous modules, we have seen that when a uh, fluid is flowing, there are certain forces that tend to oppose the flow. And uh, one of the important force, of course, is the viscous force. But in addition to uh, viscous force, there are other forces also that tend to oppose the flow. And one of them is the friction that happens between the fluid and the interface of that fluid with a solid wall. For example, if you are pumping water in a pipe, then the inside pipe surface causes a certain amount of friction uh, which tends to oppose the flow. So in this module, we will look at the uh, frictional forces and how they may impact the flow of a fluid. Now, due to this uh, friction that is caused between a fluid and a solid surface, there is a certain amount of frictional energy loss. Well, it's not really a loss. Uh, it is a conversion of uh, energy to another form, uh, usually heat, uh, but it's not available as mechanical energy for uh, useful work. Now, friction force is a function of both the flow rate as well as the inside pipe surface roughness, for example. You know, the pipe can be very, very smooth or uh, it could be quite rough. So obviously there will be a different amount of friction between the fluid and the pipe surface depending on its roughness. We will uh, use a term called friction factor and we will use a symbol lowercase f to determine the effect of friction on fluid flow. So we will develop our mathematical relationship for friction factor for laminar flow when Reynolds number is less than 2100. So friction factor is a ratio between the shear stress at the wall divided by kinetic energy of fluid per unit volume of that fluid element. So we can write this uh, mathematically as uh, friction factor represented by lowercase f equals sigma w, which is the shear stress at the wall, divided by rho u bar, which represents average velocity, u bar square divided by 2. Now, in our uh, previous uh, module, when we were looking at the velocity profile in a pipe, uh, we conducted a force balance on an element of a fluid flowing inside a pipe. And when we conducted that force balance, we obtained an expression delta P, which is the pressure drop, divided by L, where L is the length, equals 2 sigma divided by R. Now again, sigma is the shear stress. So we can modify this expression to adapt it to the inside pipe surface because the friction is going to be at the inside pipe surface. So instead of using R, which is radius, we will convert that to diameter divided by 2. So then we have delta P over L equals 4 sigma divided by D where d is the diameter. We can rearrange these terms. So we have sigma equals delta p d divided by 4L. And then we can substitute this sigma, which is shear stress, in our earlier expression for the friction factor and get f equals delta p d times 2 divided by 4L rho u dash square. Then we can further simplify that as F equals delta PD divided by 2L rho U bar square. And again, going back to our previous module on the velocity profile in a pipe, uh, where we had obtained pressure drop in a fully developed laminar flow. And uh, in that, we had obtained an expression for the average velocity U bar equals delta P R square divided by 8 mu L. 
we can rearrange that equation in terms of pressure drop as delta P equals 8 u bar mu L divided by R square. Now we can take this expression for pressure drop and substitute that into our equation for friction factor. And we get F equals 8 u bar mu L d divided by R square 2 L rho u bar square. And we know that R, which is radius, is uh, diameter divided by 2, d over 2. So now we can go ahead and substitute for R square uh, in this expression uh, and uh, replace it with the diameter. So we have F equals uh, 8 u dash mu L d times 4 divided by d square 2 L rho u bar square. Uh, again, we can uh, cancel out some of the terms uh, I, and uh, simplify this to get 16 mu divided by d rho u bar. We can simplify this further by noting that Reynolds number is rho u d over mu. And uh, so we can say that our friction factor F equals 16 over Reynolds number. This uh, friction factor that we obtain uh, is also called the fanning friction factor. And it's very easy to calculate for laminar flow as uh, you just need to know the Reynolds number and uh, you can find friction factor as 16 over Reynolds number. Now in uh, textbooks uh, used in civil engineering you may also find what is called Darcy's friction factor. Uh, Darcy's friction factor is uh, four times the uh, fanning friction factor. So if we were writing uh, Darcy's friction factor F Darcy equals 64 divided by Reynolds number. In our uh, uh, computations uh, and problems we will only use uh, fanning friction factor to avoid any confusion. We noted that this development was for laminar flow. Uh, for turbulent flow you also need to include a factor to express the uh, surface roughness uh, of the inside pipe. And there are two ways to solve problems when the flow is uh, in turbulent regime. One is the use of what is called a Moody diagram. We can see the Moody diagram here. On the y-axis we have friction factor. On the x-axis Reynolds number. Uh, you will notice the uh, linear line here uh, which represents the laminar region uh, up to about 2100. And then for the turbulent region we have uh, different curves and on the right hand side uh, we see the scale for the relative roughness uh, expressed as epsilon over D. Uh, D is the diameter and uh, epsilon over D represents the relative roughness. Uh, those curves uh, range uh, for values of relative roughness from about 0 to 0 0.05. Uh, 0 represents the smooth pipe. So if in your calculation you know what the Reynolds number is, uh, you can easily read the uh, friction factor by following the line for the Reynolds number and seeing where it intersects with the curve for a given relative roughness. Now if uh, Moody diagram is not available, then you can also use this uh, following formula to calculate friction factor. And this formula is 1 over square root F, uh, where F is for fanning friction factor. That equals minus 3.6 times log. In the parentheses, we have 6.9 divided by Reynolds number plus epsilon over D divided by 3.7 uh, parentheses and raised to power 1.11. And end of parentheses. So um, if you have a calculator 
uh, or you can program this in your spreadsheet and you can find out friction factor for various values of epsilon over d and Reynolds number.